Hello everyone. This video is brought to you by the Atlum University Open Courseware project for the course Physics 101. The lecture notes are prepared by Associate Professor Dr. Hüseyin Oymak and the video lectures are prepared by Ümit Alkuş. In this video, we will solve one problem in Chapter 10. A uniform disc of radius of 4 cm and mass of 0.4 kg is free to rotate around its center and is at rest initially. At some time, two forces F1 and F2 are applied to the disc and after 2 seconds, the disc is seen to have an angular speed of omega 340 radians per second in counterclockwise manner. If angles alpha and beta are equal to 50 degrees and force F1 has a magnitude of 4 newtons, calculate the magnitude of force F2. The rotational inertia of the disk around its center is 1 over 2 m times r squared. At first, we write the given quantities in SI units. And we find angular acceleration alpha from this equation, that is, omega equals omega 0 plus alpha times t. Because alpha 0 is 0, then we obtain omega equals 0 plus alpha times t. And the expression for alpha is omega over t. To proceed, we use the Newton's second law for the rotational motion, that is, net torque equals I times alpha. By the definition of torque, we have tau equals r times f times sine theta. Now, if we choose the counterclockwise direction as plus and the clockwise direction minus, then net torque is equal to minus r times f1 times sine alpha plus r times f2 times sine beta which is equal to 1 over 2 times m times r squared times omega over t. We use the equality alpha equals beta so that r times sine alpha times f2 minus f1 equals m times omega times r squared over 2 times t. After some operations, we get an expression for f2 as m times omega times r over 2 times t times sine alpha plus f1. Now we put the numerical values into the corresponding places and finally we get the magnitude of force f2 as approximately 5.78 newtons. Well, this is the end of the discussion of this problem. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next video.